Hey there folks, this is day 17 of the Linux Upskill Challenge and today we are going to install and configure a package from the source. I'm gonna make it on my own! So the first thing that we probably have to discuss is the difference between source and binaries. Source or the source code is a human readable form of the application. This is what the developers are doing all the time. They are writing that stuff. Source code is a step before the compilation of the code that is turned into the binaries. The binaries are the program compiled to work on your system. Source code is not going to do anything unless the machine turns it into something that it can be executed. All the packets that we installed before, they are binaries. We didn't have to compile anything from the source. Today we're going to do exactly that. With so much packets available, you're not going to have to do this all the time, but it's very important that you know how to do it. Especially because when you're in the situation that you have to compile, it's something that cannot be found already in a binary form. I'm using here the version 7.8 of Nmap, and for some reason I need version before that, the version 7.17. I'm going to first get the source. I could just use my browser, find and download the file that I need, or I can just use wget and download that. the loading at Tarball, we just learned about that and you see that is in a compressed file is using bzip2 let's uncompress the starball with j that is the required for bz2 extract verbose file and map and now we have a folder with the same name and we can get inside that folder so we, we're going to work from within the folder. and you can see that we have a lot of cc and h files this is all source code and if you take a quick look inside you see this is the source code you can use this too to study the code to understand how the program works in its purest form this is the basic idea of the open source community you can learn with somebody else's code if i'm going to deal with the developer world, I need the right tools. Before I do anything here, it's important that I have the right tools to build that application. So I'm going to install Build Essential. And now we can start really the building of the application. Let's check the readme first. Here on the README, you also get the information from how to install this. Configure, make, and make install. Let's execute configure. Okay, we got the software configured. Now we're going to make or build the software. So use make. It's going to build based on the configuration that we got placed with the configure script, which means everything that is custom to my system. And now we're going to install all of the, the software that we just built. The building phase was to compile all the source code according to the configuration script, all the parameters that we pull it from the system for the compilation. Now we build the software, we compile the source code, and now we're going to install, which means I, I can execute the software the way it is right here because we got some new files, including nmap that is an executable. So if I execute from this folder dot slash that is executed inside this folder and map local host it works and you see that is the 7.70 version but it is still inside my work directory i have to install this so i can use in any other part of the system not just when i'm inside the work directory so you use make install since we are going to put this inside user bin, we have to have the root permissions to do it. Why is it user bin important? Because echo 
path. All the programs that we uh, invoke in the command line, they came from one of these folders. Came from user local as bin or user local bin or user as bin, user bin, sudo make install. Nmap version and we are using 770. To prove that I'm not using inside the work directory, let me get to the, I mean the root directory now. Nmap see and where did it come from if i use which and map is inside user local beam and map but where is the other one the end map that we were using before we can use locate to find that anything that is slash bin and map and we have something that is the user local bin like we found here in and map and user local bin and map bin and map this is the version 7.80 slash user local bin and map is version 7.70. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.